Hello everyone, and welcome back to LogCraft, episode 5. Look at my face, it's pretty cool. So as you can see, I have a very cluttered space right now, and that's because I went on a little end busting trip during a live stream that I did um, a few days ago, and we have got a bunch of of this armor and stuff that I have all in these shulker boxes because I have nowhere else to put it and three elytras I had four but I gave one to Illinois Jones because he he had a little uh, accident we're, we're not gonna talk about that a whole lot because I don't want that to take up like five minutes of this episode but yeah he just he lost his elytra so I got him a new one and as well as getting all this stuff, I also did a lot more spawn proofing in our Wither Skeleton farm. We're, we're not going to do any of that during this episode, but in between this episode and next episode, I'm going to try to finish up the rest of that. Because we are nearing the finish line with that stuff. But in this episode, I want to start by heading over to the shopping district. Because over here, as you can see, we have got Jake Bryan Industries. We have an island now, sort of. I mean, it's a bit on the small side. Uh, yeah, definitely kind of small. But I was thinking for the tower part, which is what we're going to be doing today, we're going to kind of make it go back here so we can still have this space on the island. But the, the tower will be going up like that. The Jake Prine Industries Tall Mall. The Tall Mall. And that's gonna have all of our stuff. We can get that stuff over there into it and hopefully by the time it's done I can actually start selling beacons too. And we're also gonna bring the rockets over, the famous men shop, all that good stuff. For now I I need to find my concrete that I made. Uh, and I'm going to try to get a layout of what I want this structure to look like. Just like a frame in and then we can fill it in when we get the chance to. And I think this is, yes, this is where all the stuff is. So I'm just going to do that and... Yes, I will get back to you once I'm done with that. Ready, guys? Feast your eyes on this. I mean, it's not much yet, but it's a J for Jake Bryan Industries. Pretty cool. So as you can see, I just have the framework in right now because... um. I feel like it's going to be easier this way to just get the framing in and then we can just fill everything in a different time. And by a different time, I mean sometime soon with the other members of this company. But for now, I have one more thing I want to get done and that is working on a logo. And that's going to go up there. So let's see what I can come up with. All right, I'm up here now and I got this section filled in where I'm going to be putting the logo and I also built myself a little platform just so that we can kind of work more easily. Um, yeah, I've got some materials over here so I guess let's just start working. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do just yet but I'll, I'll make it work. But I was I was thinking that for the start of this we could just have a long that's not what I meant to do a long line going down just all the way like this and then over here we put the I for industries and now now it's just time to see where this takes us. I need to go grab my crafting table. I hope this actually fits. I might want to move the N just 
over by the eye just so that it fits a little better. I'm probably going to have to adjust things a little bit. We're not going to get this first try. And we are out of space. I mean, that was, that was kind of expected. Not going to lie. Uh, so let's see if we can kind of compress this down just a little bit. Maybe use stairs for the N. Maybe we can get it down to just two blocks wide. Um, you know what? We'll go with that. All right, now for the moment of truth. How much, how much does this actually look like it says industries? I mean, you can definitely see it, but maybe I could try alternating between regular andesite and polished andesite between each letter, because I think that might bring out the letters a little bit more. All right, so I guess we'll just... Uh, make every other letter into polished andesite. I have a feeling that this just made it look so much better. Let's back up again and yeah yeah that looks that looks a lot better. You can definitely tell where each letter is and I, I actually might try getting rid of that top part because I don't, I don't know if that is helping with figuring out what it actually says. So let's see if it looks any better once we get rid of this. Fly back again. I'm wasting so many rockets with this. And yes, okay, you can definitely see pretty clearly what's going on there. Actually, wait. I have one more thing that I want to do because the the E the E right now does not look like an E. We need to fix this. Yes, that looks a lot better. Okay, all right. I think that's going to be the final product for the industries. <laughs> now, we, now we still have to uh, put in the the whole Jake Bryan part. And for this part up here, we are probably going to be using the red sandstone because that just gives it a little more color and it kind of makes it stand out a lot more. That is not where I want the stair to go. Oh, uh, 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 actually that's not that big of a deal. Oh, that's kind of too tall. And I did it again. And yeah, that looks good. So I guess let's just do the rest of the letters then. How did this happen? Uh. I think I think maybe when I was pouring water down it might have broken the piece of string that was on top of that. And <laughs> now we have this. But anyway, look at that. That's all done. I would say looks pretty good. Uh I mean it could have looked better, but this is the best we could do with the space that we have. So I'm I'm honestly content with it. This is uh already making such a huge presence in the shopping district. Like this is by far the biggest building that has been here so far. So, uh I think work on this building is going to stop for now. Um mainly because I am probably going to do the rest of this with the other members of the company. So I'm just gonna pack up these shulker boxes and the ender chest. And I guess I'll just let this keep growing for now because I don't have any string on me at the moment. Earlier on in the episode, I said that I was going to finish spawn proofing in between this episode and next episode, but I just got a lot more stone and cobblestone and a few other things too but yeah we've got a lot of this stuff and we can convert all of this into slabs so we actually might be able to finish it right now so hey look it's digital smile does he want me to kill him
Does he? Wait. Are we are we just like not saying anything in chat? Okay, we're just nodding, I guess. Well, that was an experience. So now it's time to go spawn proof if I can find the hole in the roof. There we go. And what I I forgot I'm wearing this still. You know, I'm going to keep it on for the rest of the episode. And what better way to do this in the form of a time lapse? Let's go. That was a lot of spawn proofing, but the good news is, I think we're completely done with all of it. There might have been a few spots that I've missed, but for the most part, it seems pretty good. And you might be thinking, we still we don't really have that many wither skeletons spawning, and this is what brings me to my next thing that I want to talk about. I'm pretty sure that this killing chamber is too close to this, so wither skeletons can really only spawn on the outside, and another thing is, if they spawn too far on the outside, I think they aren't even attracted to this piglin. So we might have to do a different setup with like four piglins in a square. But first of all, I want to move this down. So I started doing the dangerous task of clearing out this lava pool. But we need to do a lot more of this. So uh, I guess let's get to work. As you can see, what... As soon as I got down there, we got a lot of wither skeletons. So, if if we can have a if we can have a, a killing chamber down here, that would make the farm a lot better. And this is about how deep the lava goes. I was able to get all the way down there over here, but we need to get it done everywhere else. So the, the farther down we go with this, the closer to the middle we'll be able to get wither skeletons to spawn. So I'm thinking we just clear out all the lava in this area, and then we'll have plenty of space to work with. I just finished a really major task, and now I've given myself a new one. Actually, you know what? Fire resistance potions will make this so much faster. Why didn't I think of that? I need to go grab some of those potions. So so, should I just start trading with piglins? I think that's the best way to go about this. Hold up. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I think this is from uh, Digital Smile because I helped him uh, helped him with trying to find his stuff after he died. So, thank you for this present. 4 diamonds, iron block. Diamonds are really useful, um, and I kind of have a lot of iron right now, so, I mean, the iron block isn't particularly useful right now, but it is still a nice thank you. See, look, look at the iron that I have right now. It's kind of a lot. I mean, I also kind of have a lot of diamonds, but we... Oh, we... That's, I think that's the closest I've ever gotten. 
I need to get this hoglin out of here. Oh wait, wait. I also need to, I also need to put on this. All right. You chill now. Mm -hmm. And I just realized I forgot my gold too. All right, my gold. I wonder hmm, I wonder if they take gold ore. I feel like they probably will. So I'm going to grab a stack of the gold ore and let's put some of these shulker boxes away. And I just realized, look at my hand. <laughs> I'm not I'm not my skin. I'm I'm a carrot. Go carrot club. I mean the shulker head I'm wearing kind of covers it up anyway. And back down over here. Oh, the baby is just taking everything. Okay, we got an adult with it. Oh, they just they just put it away. I need to did I seriously not bring gold ingots? Oh. Do the children give you stuff? Oh no, they just hold on to it. Yes, okay, okay. We got ourselves a fire resistance potion. And now he's angry. Oh, ooh, get out of here. Oh, wait. I know why. It's because I'm opening these chests. Okay, well, um... I've got one fire resistance potion so far. You know what? I think one fire resistance potion will be fine for now. And if I need more, I have the gold for more. This hopefully won't go badly, but in the event that it quite possibly could, I'm going to put a lot of my valuable stuff away. And we are back with the DGC you know and hopefully love but I'm not making any assumptions it's, what's the word I feel like I'm over exaggerating how dangerous this is gonna be I think I'm gonna be fine but oh wait shulker head almost forgot here we go I'm in so let's let's just try to get as much of this filled up as I can in the three minutes that I have this Hopefully we can get a lot of this filled in, and we're probably going to need to do two or three rounds of fire resistance. Alright, I'm halfway. I've reached the halfway point. Oh wait, it's going to do like a flashy, flashy thing when it's about to run out. 20 seconds left. Alright, so let's get these last few blocks in, and... Head back up. Okay. <sighs> and now I'm going to start taking fire damage. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm assuming you guys don't want to see me repeatedly just draining the lava out of here. So that's going to be something I do in between this episode and the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Comment is not as important but do it anyway if you want. And other than that, I will see you in the next episode. Good bye.